2006, in a study, it is found that 17% of Malaysian aged 18 years and above have diabetes. If 10 people are randomly selected from that age group, so 10 people, we know that N is equal to 10, find the prob probability that 5 of them have diabetes. So we are talking about having diabetes. So having diabetes, 17% or 17 over 100, which is 0.17. So, we know that this one is a uh, binomial distribution. So, Px is equal to R is equal to N, C, R, P, R, Q, N minus R. Where P is equal to 0 0.17 and Q is equal to 1 minus 0 0.17. So, you get 0 0.83. So, your N is equal to 10. So, here when... 5 of them having diabetes, so Px is equal to 5 is equal to N is 10, then C, R is 5, P is 0 0.17, this one is 5, because R, R, Q is 0 0.83, 10 minus 5 is 5, so we are going to get 0 0.0141, so this one is 0 0.0141. B, so X is in between 2 to 6 where X represents the number of Malaysian citizens age 18 and above who have diabetes. So we have N is equal to 10. So 2 to 6 is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So basically the number of getting diabetes and non getting diabetes is the same. So you can directly calculate this one. So P, 2, X up to 6. Is actually p x is equal to 2 plus p x is equal to 3 plus p x is equal to 4 plus p x is equal to 5 and p x is equal to 6. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Which is equal to, so the formula, so n c r, so p x is equal to r is equal to n c r. P, R, Q, N minus R. And we are talking about having diabetes. So this one is valid because 70% this one is about diabetes and not having diabetes. So this one is 2, right? So 10, C, 2. So P is 0 0.17. This one is 2. So this one is 0 0.83. 10 minus 2 is 8. So done. Plus, so this one is 3, so 10 C3 0 0.17, 3 0 0.83, so this one is 10 minus 3 is 7, okay, plus, so X is equal to 4, 10 C4, 0 0.174, 0 0.83, 10 minus 4 is 6, okay, we are done 4 and then 5. Then C5, 0 0.175, 0 0.83, 10 minus 5 is 5. Then C6, so we have 0 0.176, 0 0.83, 10 minus 6 is 4. So here we are going to get... Zero point five two six seven.